Hey everyone, it's Ivan with KitBadger.com here to bring you another gear review and today we're talking about the Thermarest Z-Lite sleeping pad. If you've ever said to yourself, self, I want to be as miserable as possible, then you could just go sleep somewhere on the ground without any type of sleeping pad. The ground will rob you of your heat in no time and make for a really, really, really long night. You will know exactly how many hours you laid there in the dark. We don't want this to happen. So we end up with some sort of sleeping pad. I've used a bunch, I think initially as a kid, probably ended up using actually a therm rest. Memory serves though is one of the ones that you blow up, inflatable one. And I remember some cold nights from that. Anything that can fail over a long enough timeline will fail. Which is one of the reasons I like this guy because there's not much to fail on it. These Z-Lite pads come in two different sizes. Their regular extends out to 72 inches, whereas their small extends out to 51 inches. Respectively, their small weighs 10 ounces, regular weighs 14 ounces. Size-wise, both of them are about 20 inches wide. This one, when stacked, is about five inches by five and a half, whereas the small is only about four inches high. All of them are made out of this closed cell foam can't puncture it, can't get holes. Well, you can puncture it, but you won't get holes in it. And it has all these dimples, which apparently traps 20% more heat. How they figured it out, I do not know. Additionally, they have an R value of 2.6. Does that matter? Probably not, unless you're going to insulate your house, in which case you're gonna need a lot more. By way of reference, this one being the regular, 72 inches. Whereas this one right here is a small, 51 inches. I'm about six feet. Regular one works great. Why do I have the small one? I bought it on accident. One of my favorite thing about these sleeping pads is they're super durable. They're not gonna break. As you can see, there's a bunch of uh, rough edges. Basically these, depending on where I'm going, who I'm with, I'll have this either strapped to the bottom of my pack, maybe on the side, maybe this one on the other side. And some trails, you're pushing through brush, things are scratching against it, or wholesale sharp branches stabbing into this thing. But there's nothing to put a hole in. I'm not gonna wake up with this deflated and be freezing at night. Really love that about them. Having bought this one on accident, thinking I was getting one of these, it actually works really well, even though it's the small one. Works great for my boys, or if they're not with me, and since the older I get, the more I appreciate comfort, and it doesn't weigh very much, I'll go ahead and bring this with me also, and I will extend this one, extend this one, throw it on top, double them up for a super good night's sleep. The other thing I really like is the fact that it's the Z-Fold. I've used in the past other closed cells such as like the ISO mat in the Marine Corps, which is basically a closed cell mat, roll it up. Anything that rolls up like that eventually starts to take a shape. So then you're trying to unroll it and keeps wanting to roll back on itself. It's just a pain. This is really easy. It's flat, really easy to put on the bottom of your pack, side of your pack and just strap it down. You're good to go. The other thing you can do is just use this as an impromptu seat. Keep you up off the ground if it's wet, snow on the ground, anything like that. Just set it there, sit on top of it, you're good to go. Lastly, I also use this as an impromptu shooting mat because it's easy and I have it. It's usually in my car, back of a truck, pull it out, throw it on the ground, hop in the prone, do some shooting. You can get these guys a number of places. I find Amazon usually has pretty good deals on them. They come in a bunch of different colors as well. This is their lime silver as well as their gray orange. They have a gray green, gray coyote brown, bunch of different stuff going on. Price wise, about 27 to about 34 bucks. Amazon Prime, two day shipping for free, all that stuff. Great sleeping pads, not gonna deflate on you. Huge selling point and yeah, They'll keep you warm. And you can throw one in the back of your truck, impromptu shooting mat as well. As always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time. I'm on the street, on the street.